Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for those of you single and in the pursuit of a new romantic connection. So we have all the energies already on the table, I will guide you through them. We have three oracle cards, stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure, miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge, and rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. The overall energy is for you, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, The Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. And then two rows of energies for, let's say, two persons that can have the chance to interact with you guys in the Romantic Arena. Um, but we are going to get to these energies in a couple of minutes. Uh, first and foremost, guys, let's talk about the overall energies for you. Uh, you can be extremely busy right now, uh, especially because of work or professional situations, let's say, that can ask for your complete attention and energies. The Eight of Pentacles is an extremely productive energy, a laser-focused mentality. Uh, you have the talent to clearly set your goals and you are not afraid to put in the work to achieve them. And this is quite a gift. Uh, you are a go-getter, you get things done, and for this reason you can be uh, highly appreciated by those around you, uh, whether you work in a corporate environment or you work for yourself. The magician uh, puts an accent on this talent of yours and on the mindset, I would say, because you can find yourself a center of the attention in many interactions of your everyday life. And you can also be an example or an inspiration, you know, a source of inspiration for those around you. Uh, like the magician, you can see opportunities where others maybe do not see anything, and this can set the difference in your favor. I also love the Queen of Wands for you, a healthy self-confidence, um, magnetic, super attractive. You can catch a lot of attention without showing off. This is a plus um, because you are not... Uh, perceived as arrogant by those around you. And at the same time, uh, even if other people can turn their eyes to look at you, um, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords together um, can describe some kind of a quiet uh, situation so far when it comes to love. Uh, it's like the Queen of Wands is looking around, you know, she is kind of looking sideways. Uh, in order to see and understand if a situation can be interesting or, you know, deserving of her attention, but without the necessity to rush the process. And if we think about the Six of Swords, um, this decision to go slow, uh, in some sense, can be uh, due to the fact that some of you have left behind uh, challenging situations in the Romantic Arena. And before you take action with someone new, uh, you would love to figure out the situation, you know, the best you can. And this one seems to be a wise move, you know, no need to rush the process in some sense. So speaking about the two persons that can have the chance to interact with you guys, let's get to know a little bit better. The first, um, they get the Two of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, the recurrent energy. Uh, the focus for them is the Major Arcana of the Chariot. So, considering the Queen of Wands, this person can be someone that you know, uh, a friend, or even a colleague, uh, just like person number two, but we are going to get to that. The focus on the Chariot for this person can be about a couple of things. Um, this person can travel, they can move a lot, maybe because of work, and this can be a factor in their life that should be uh, kind of taken into consideration. Um, or this can be a desire for success uh, when it comes to a romantic connection with you guys. But uh, when it comes to that, this person is still uh, a little bit hesitant, let's say, because of the Eight of Swords. Um, either they do not know how to approach you guys in order to test the temperature of the room about a potential interest that you can have uh, in their favor, especially if they are friend guys, let's consider that scenario. Um, or they can think that you can be overwhelmed by options and 
you know, maybe <laughs> other suitors can have something more um, to offer. But this is a mindset that, you know, it's not even necessary. Uh, if this person is interested, they should uh, find a way to let you guys know about their interest. And um, chances are that this person can do that because they get the Ace of Swords. So truth and clarity. Um, I think that it's positive because the Ace of Swords can be the best possible energy to fulfill the Two of Wands crossroad. And if we look at this uh, version of the card, um, for me, it's like the opportunity to lay down the cards on the table in order for another person to understand what can be available. This can be positive, um, not just for this person, but also for you guys, because you can have a clear uh, vision um, about what this person can truly offer. There is another thing that I kind of like, um, considering this combination of energies, the seven of wands. Um, there is like a wizard on top of a cliff and there is a storm in the background. So this person, especially if they like you, they have to level up. They have to rise above the competitors and they can do that because it's also possible considering the queen of wands as a recurrent energy that you can like this person as well. And this can be a positive factor in favor of the connection. Of course, there is work that has to be done, but, um, I would say that stepping into power, the Oracle card, you are strong beyond measure. Stepping into power seems to be the perfect advice, uh, for this person, um, because this is what they have to do in order to earn the chance to manifest a positive development for the connection with you. Speaking about person number two, let's see what they look like. They get the 10 of swords, the seven of cups, the five of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the eight of pentacles recurrent energy. Their focus is the major arcana of the Hierophant, which is meaningful, guys. Mm -hmm. Because it seems that um, the oracle card that can almost speak to this person is the rejuvenating rain one. Clear the past, heal the present. Um, this is exactly what this person has to do. They have to clear their past if they want to heal the present and hopefully, as I usually say, enjoy the future chapters of the journey. The old man in the Nine of Wands, for me, is uh, trying to make peace with his past. And this person is still struggling a little bit uh, when it comes to that. Um, because it's almost like they are hostage of their past, which was a difficult one, guys. Uh, one kind of... Um, full of disappointments and hurt because considering the focus on the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords, it's possible um, to say that this person has left behind uh, a difficult relationship, uh, one that may be ended in a, in a bad way and left them with a lot of doubts and questions considering the Seven of Cups but also the Five of Pentacles, uh, guys, uh, which is, considering this particular version of the card, uh, truly about a wounded warrior. There is a warrior that is trying to mend all the wounds, and there is another warrior in the background that is kind of leaving, you know? Maybe uh, this can describe the old partner of this person. Um, the last relationship for them didn't end well, uh, it's also fair to say that uh, this person was left behind uh, kind of in a miserable way. Not exactly the best possible scenario. Uh, 
they should, if we think about that, they should uh, take a little bit more care of themselves, uh, especially when it comes to their appearances, guys, uh, because they can be in a, a raw mode uh, right now, kind of like Wolverine, if you are familiar with the character, uh, I think so. Um, they have to change something because it is true that we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but you know, uh, this person should, uh, put a little bit uh, more effort into that. Uh, for example, if we look at the old man in this version of the nine of ones, a new haircut, you know, something new, uh, uh, a new touch, you know, to their appearances can be positive uh, because it can be even a way to ignite a new chapter of the story, you know, uh, let's be honest. So, uh, another thing, considering the eight of pentacles, recurrent energy, uh, this person can be a coworker, a colleague, or a professional partner, uh, for some of you, uh, I would say that, uh, the eight of pentacles can be encouraging for this person, uh, because, um, it's like they have to get their mojo back and work can be a plus because it can help, you know, it can help this person to, um, get things going, uh, once again, hopefully in their favor. And, um, if we look at what the kid, the young boy is doing in the card is polishing a shield. And this is what this person has to do. They have to polish themselves up once again, uh, because this is crucial. This is crucial if they want to be noticed by you guys, uh, if they are indeed a colleague and maybe, you know, they have been looking at you in order to understand what you can be up to, um, they can be hesitant to interact with you in a way that can lead towards a romantic uh, type of connection because maybe they do not feel ready yet or maybe they do not think that what they can offer you right now can be something uh, enough you know or sufficient again this is a mindset that can uh, hold even this person back a little bit. So there is a silver lining in common for the two persons that we have on the table. They have to believe that something good can be achieved. Otherwise it's like they are working against themselves. Uh, the Hierophant can even be guys about the desire that this person can still have in favor of, um, highly committed relationship even a marriage, uh, if they tried to go down that road and it didn't work, uh, they didn't give up hope about that. Um, and so, you know, <laughs> if this person in particular, um, is willing to explore a connection with you guys, they, they should, uh, speed up the process in order to, uh, present themselves in a way that can, you know, catch your attention. This is super important. So guys, to kind of close this reading, um, let's pull some cards, let's say two cards about the time factor when it comes to these two persons. Uh, just, um, out of curiosity and for fun, let's always remember that time is fluid and we shouldn't, um, put ourselves in a box when it comes to the, uh, time factor in a general reading. Let's see what we can get. Some of you maybe already know someone that can fit these energies, others, uh, maybe not. So let's find out person number one. Let's see. All right. In the near future. So considering the Ace of Swords, this person can make the decision to of ones to speak up in order to let you guys know that they have been thinking about you. Let's see person number two. All right. This one in my uh, left hand within the next few weeks. 
So I would say, guys, expect communication if you resonate with the scenarios that we have seen in this, um, in this reading, in this set of energies, guys. I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.